So now I want to show you some things that are what you might call solid. Okay. So these these next ones that I showed you is probably a good target for you to zero in on. If you, if you do this, you get this sort of uh, level of work. Um, you're going to do well. These first couple of videos, the person has gotten a friend or somebody to read the interview questions for them. And then what they can do is then they can talk, they talk to that person um, as if then the person asking the questions is the interviewer and they are the, uh, the person being interviewed. Let's check out a couple of these. Tell us your name and tell us about your project. My name is uh, Kenneth Everson, but you can call me Ken. Uh, I'm going to be talking about how me and my team, in collaboration with a few other scientists, help establish a new, more accurate way to calculate the value for the speed of light. Well, what were you guys trying to do or find? Uh, originally, me and my team went out to uh, use the atomic clocks at NIST to help improve methods for measuring optical frequencies. All right, let's look at another one that's like that. Now with this particular example, I want you to pay close attention to the level of detail that she has gleaned from studying this person's life, okay? So what other significant events that are occurring right now may have influenced you and your group? Well, my group and I could be influenced by so many things. I mean, we're scientists first and foremost, so curiosity is what influences us. But. I mean, it's eight years after World War II ended, and I know at that time none of us thought that we'd be where we are. So scientific discovery has just made so many advances, and we want to be a part of the future in that advance. Okay. Now, um, maybe for whatever reason you aren't able to get a friend to help you out, or you don't want to do that, or you want to do, take care of the whole thing yourself. There are ways to do that well also. Let's look at an example. I got three examples for you where people used um, some video editing tools and they just put like titles on a screen in front of their video and they, they put their question in those titles and it works really, really well. This first one's a little fancier than some of the others. Um, you'll see what I mean here in just a second. Hello, my name is Arno Penzias. I'm a physicist who worked at Bell Labs in Homedale, New Jersey. In 1964, I, along with my partner, Robert Wilson, discovered cosmic microwave background radiation. Okay, so then for the other questions, he does something similar where he, he has a thing flash up. Let's look at another example. Around this time, um, during September of 1676, there was some rebels from Jamestown, Virginia, that actually set fire to the town um, out of just rebellious ways of I have many colleagues that helped me along the way with my research in the experiment. Okay, and I've got one more for you. All right, it's kind of interesting to see different people's styles. Hopefully, maybe one of these will spur you or give you some ideas how you could proceed on yours. The Higgs boson was discovered at LHC by two separate particle detectors, the ATLAS and CMS, uh, located at the... Uh, CERN facilities just outside of Geneva, Switzerland. Okay, that's a good goal for you right there. Try to produce something that looks like that and you'll, you'll, uh, you'll, your score will be good.